Hi, everybody. It's Pastor Rob with today's Bible Break Devotion. Uh, in the month of January, we are in the book of Proverbs. So every uh, devotion I'm doing is principles from Proverbs. Uh, the, the Bible is not a rule book. The Bible is a book of uh, divine, eternal principles. Uh, because the Bible is applicable to every person, in every place, in every age. And so a, a book that would apply in 2020 here in the United States of America would have probably been very out of place, or rule book would be very out of place in Papua New Guinea a hundred years ago, or even a thousand years ago. Uh, but the wonderful thing about God's Word is it is applicable uh, to every man, every woman, in every place, at, of every race, at all times. You say, how in the world can, that, can God do that? He wrote a book of principles. And God's principles are immutable and they're eternal. Now, uh, today's principle from the book of Proverbs is how to have is how to have a happy, healthy spiritual heart. We're in Proverbs chapter fifteen and verse thirteen. The Bible says this: "A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of heart the spirit." is broken. The Bible says a merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance. How do we have a happy, healthy, spiritual heart? Now, it's interesting. The Bible uh, says much about the uh, our heart all throughout the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation. But just in the book of Proverbs, we'll limit our study there, 86 direct times God speaks to us about our heart. Now, he's not talking about that fleshly pumping organ that's in there that pushes blood through everywhere, uh, but there's a picture there. The center of your being and your is your physical self is your physical heart. It's the life-sustaining source that pushes nutrients and blood and oxygen through your entire body. So your spiritual heart, your spiritual heart is your mind, your will, your emotions, the seat of who you really are. That is the center of you, and that is critical. A healthy heart is key to a, a healthy body. A healthy spiritual heart is the key to a healthy spiritual self. So I want to give you today, quickly, seven principles for a happy, healthy, spiritual heart. Uh, your mind, your will, your emotions. Number one, a happy heart uh, is a guarded heart. In Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23, it says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Listen, just like we have to, look, I enjoy eating donuts and French fries and bacon and hamburgers and pizza and fried chicken and all those wonderful things. But all of that stuff, if ate in excess, it's going to put grease in my heart, cholesterol in my veins. Listen, that's not good for me. So we need to guard our heart. Uh, just like we guard what we eat and we make sure that we're keeping a, uh, maintaining a healthy heart, we have to make sure we're uh, maintaining a happy, healthy, spiritual heart. How do you guard your spiritual heart? Well, what goes into the heart of man goes in through the eyes and goes in through the ears. So my friends, remember that little song, be careful little eyes what you see, be careful little ears what you hear. That's because it's going into your heart. Number two, a happy heart, not only is a guarded heart, but a happy heart belongs to God. A happy heart belongs to God. My friends, I see a lot of people that are freaked out. They're wazzing out. They're blown out. You know why? Because it really reveals. Listen, uh, I thought of this this last week. You know, problems and, and, and issues don't rearrange priorities. They reveal priorities. And what we've seen over these last six months to a year is the revelation of people's real priorities. The people that have skipped out on God, the people that have uh, 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 gone their own way, it has just simply revealed what their priorities are. A happy heart belongs to God. Listen to what the Bible says in Proverbs 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. Listen, a happy heart belongs to God. Put your trust in God. Number three, number three, a happy heart is an instructed heart. A happy, healthy, spiritual heart is an instructed heart. Say, so what do you mean by that? Listen to Proverbs 2 and verse 2. So that thou incline thine heart, thine ear unto wisdom, and apply thy heart to understanding. God says we need to instruct our heart. Uh, and you, you say, well, I thought I could follow my heart. Well, that's the, the Bible never says for us to do that. In fact, the Bible warns us completely against that. We need to teach our spiritual heart what's right. Just like, listen, I have to teach my body to say, listen, no, you don't get to have fried eggs and bacon every day. You've got to have oatmeal with bl uh, blueberries and raspberries on it uh, and some yogurt on it uh, uh, most of the week. Uh, listen, so I have to instruct my physical heart to want what it should want. I have to instruct my spiritual heart what it should want. Uh, number five. A happy heart is a humble heart. A happy heart is a humble heart. In Proverbs 21 and verse 4, the Bible says it's a high look and a proud heart and the plowing of the wicked is sin. My friend, if you want to have a happy, healthy, spiritual heart, let's keep our heart humble. 
Let's put ourselves in the right place before God. Let's be honest with ourselves about where we are and who we are. Uh, listen, my friend, we're all just dirt. We're all just sinners saved by God's grace or need to be saved by God's grace. Number six, a uh, sixth principle from the book of Proverbs on a happy, healthy, spiritual heart. A happy heart is a soft heart. A happy heart is a soft heart. Proverbs 28 and verse 14, the Bible says, Happy is the man that feareth always. That means to give God the respect he deserves. But he that hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief. See, the Bible talks about, listen, when God, when you get into the word of God and God begins to teach you and instruct you, uh, you and I have two responses. Either we can say, hey, bring it on. Bring more of it. Lord, whatever you tell me that I'm good with it. God, I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to apply that. Uh, and so uh, to have a soft heart, to receive instruction, to receive wisdom. In fact, through the book of Proverbs, if you've been reading along, you notice there's this contrast between the wise and the fool. The, the Bible says the wise ear, the wise heart, the wise mind, the wise man, the wise woman will receive instruction but the fool rejecteth it. And listen, what happens is when you're presented with truth and you say, nah, that's not for me. Nah, I'm not interested. God, I don't care what you say. I don't care what the Bible says. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to be Frank Sinatra. Listen, that's a, that's a hardened heart. And the Bible says the heart that is hardened will be destroyed. So a happy, healthy heart is a soft heart, a heart that will hear instruction, a heart that will perceive the ear, that perceive the speaking of the Lord to you. A happy heart is a soft heart. Number seven, a happy heart is a properly positioned heart. Listen to what the Bible has to say in Proverbs 28 and verse 26. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. That's strong language, but God said it. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, but whoso, whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. My friends, the one of the worst pieces of advice that we can give to our young people or to anyone is, hey, follow your heart. Oh, my friend, that's dangerous advice, and it's completely unspiritual and unscriptural. The Bible teaches me that my heart is deceived, and it can be deceived, and it will deceive me. The Bible says that my heart can be very wicked, and that's a true statement. I'll just raise my right hand and say, I thank God for the saving grace of Jesus Christ who keeps me from following my heart. A happy heart is a positioned heart. Understand God gave me a, 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 a mind, a will, and an emotion. He expects me to use it. He expects me to position that heart, listen, uh, underneath the authority of God's word, uh, to be responsive to the calling and leading of the spirit of God. A happy heart is a properly positioned heart. It's a heart that's in place. It's a heart that can feel, a heart that cares, a heart that can respond. But listen, but it's a heart that understands, listen, I can't always trust my heart. I can't always trust what, what I want to do. I need to trust what God wants me to do. So my friends, here are seven principles for a happy healthy, spiritual hearts. A wonderful little Bible study in the book of Proverbs. I hope this has been a help, a blessing, and a challenge to you. Till we meet again, let's keep looking unto Jesus.